Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and uh, mini tutorial and also a major announcement uh, about the release of a much anticipated uh, plugin. So today we're going to be talking about face motion uh, 3D. Uh, I shared a video in, my, in the past about uh, the, being able to stream live facial animation into Da Studio. So many of you know that uh, Da Studio offers a wide array of uh, characters, beautiful models, you know, but I, I believe that they really could be used for facial animation and to tell stories and, and films and things like that. So that's why I think face motion is a big deal. And so today I can honest, I can announce <laughs> for everyone that has been wondering that uh, the DAS 3D plugin has been made available. It's available for purchase on the, it's a new website. It's called facemotion3d.com. As you can see up here, and you simply go to shop on this like so i'm gonna walk you through real quick and share some more thoughts but uh if you're new to my channel i kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell after you subscribe and uh thank you so much to my steady subscribers guys look we've come a long way thank you so much for your support and i really really appreciate the patrons thank you for your support i am very very grateful guys so when you click on this button the shop button it's going to lead you to this page and there's an email address right now this is supposed to be uh, made available on the das 3d marketplace uh, eventually it will be able to when you go to shop you'll be able to see it over there but for now they are accepting <laughs> it looks like they're accepting paypal payments and uh, you can contact them uh, on this email facemotion 3d at gmail.com so you can get started and the offering that they have right now uh, these are the different prices i'm telling you if I, you are an animator and you're trying to save time on, on your animated short film using das 3d characters i think this is a really good deal to be able to do uh, i know this is for individual characters so if it's a, it's a if it's a genesis 3 model that's the price for genesis 8.1 so, and then they also offer the bundles if you want to take advantage of the combined set of uh, the different models and the full motion the full bundle is uh that price right there and maybe in the future there will be discounts but i think this is a, a fairly a good price to start off to have access to all being able to animate all the models on uh, the das 3d marketplace you know all the characters that are made available once you go to shop over here and so and especially especially 8.1 uh, genesis 8.1 that has so many cool up, uh, updates to the facial rig and also to the mesh uh, that is an important one to have uh, i've been enjoying using it so i'm going to show you a quick test that i'm doing with a, a genesis 8.1 model so you see what it looks like and it's important guys when you buy this when you get this model uh, when you're doing the facial animation make sure you're doing it in a low down, go to the parameters and lower the resolution of the model and then afterwards you can ramp it up uh, for the final render so all the way down you also have mix mission so which means that you can bring your mixamo uh, animations and be able to partner it together with the facial animation over here so and then face motion live there's a plugin for DAS which is available right now but it's also available for blender for Maya and Unity over there, right? So that, that's what's exciting. So now all the plugins are available. Uh, Daz was the one that was waiting in the wings, but it's available for you to go and order. So you don't have to do the bundle, but if you want like a Genesis 8.1 female, for example, and that's all you want to animate, then invest in that, which means that any Genesis 8.1 females that you use, you'll be able to, uh, that you create, you'll be able to animate using this uh, more, uh, this plugin if you want to have the whole array of all the das 3d models genesis 3 through 8.1 then this is the one that you you need okay so guys happy animating uh let's go real quick to das studio over here and i'm also gonna bring up my phone so you can see the app on the right hand side so this is for ios unfortunately guys those who have um android phones 
uh, you won't be able to take advantage of uh, this plugin. Sorry, guys. I know. <laughs> and I've seen it in the comments where Android users are wondering, like, uh, what about us? What about our Kieros? You know? Uh, but it's it's uh, this is technology that is native to iOS phones. So it will be, unless someone invents something like a face shift, which this, which was it used to be face shift and then Apple bought it and incorporated the technology in the iPhone 10 series and uh, and higher that have depth true depth sensing cameras okay so the figure is loaded and right now you if I go over to this is a character called Leon and let me show you so if you have a collection of models that you plan on using that's why getting the bundle is helpful because imagine this whole array of models and you're only limited to like maybe 8.1 i don't want to do that i want to be able to have access to animate any of these characters okay and so we're, we're animating i'm testing with a leon 8.1 model so that's a genesis 8.1 version and then there's a genesis 8 leon so but this is the one that i, I love working with because of the new updates to genesis 8 okay so let me collapse that let's move this over here and so the character the model itself if i go over here and select genesis 8.1 leon for genesis 8.1 under the parameters tab and under uh, the general in the mesh resolution uh, you see by default it's going to come in as high resolution and is the subdivision level is going to be 8.3 uh, right so if i try to animate now it will like skip and let me try it let me try it with this kind of setting so you see the difference so let's go ahead and click and go live all right so the character is hold on i had to scratch my eye <laughs> sorry leon okay but as you can see there's like a slowdown of the machine and my machine is pretty powerful i think so but because of uh the mesh density of the characters you're not getting the full articulation of the characters and i mean coupled with the fact that right now i'm streaming two data streams i'm streaming to the the plugin and i'm also streaming to using the uh, phone you know display here <laughs> so it might actually perform better if i'm not streaming and i'm just recording live and you also have the ability to record on the phone right here you press record on the phone and then transfer that data onto the character okay so clearly this is not going to be uh, useful and we'll stop and so what i need to do then is i need to go to the low the base resolution in the viewport it's going to look like a little bit uh, <laughs> less detailed so don't worry about that you you, you know this is just for animation's sake <clears throat> excuse me we just need to be able to animate fluidly okay so what i need to do next is also take this all the way down to zero i, I can't something is wrong with my throat <laughs> leon i am not messing with you <laughs> i'm just giving you a little a little less mesh so i can animate you maybe me, leon is doing that anyways so now if i go and click <clears throat> goodness gracious i i think it's the allergies too all okay. right I love spring, but <laughs> when spring brings uh, pollen, I know the trees are happy, uh, bees and all that, but I, I don't, that's the part I don't like about spring, but I digress. All right, let's go live. All right, now there's more responsiveness, right? And there's a little bit of a delay, and that's why the importance of uh, recording and then transferring the data over to the character. So if I try to spoke a little sp spoke, <laughs> if I try to speak, bah, 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 black sheep, have you any? Oh, amazing grace! I I've never been a great singer. I try. <laughs> I like to pretend. <laughs> Anyways, for the sake of animation, I try to sing sometimes, but uh, clearly uh, I'm not the best singer. I'll stick to animation and maybe narration. I can see inside your soul. Don't you dare. 
All right, so that's the value of uh, recording first and then transfer, uh, transferring the stream. So if you had a machine that could handle the frame rate and the geometry, they, you can go ahead and record the stream. But uh, I encourage you to do it whereby you record on the phone, right? So I'm going to actually go ahead and record on the phone. All right, so we are recording on the phone. Uh, we are talking and it actually can record the audio as well. And once we have, we're happy with what we've recorded, we just simply press stop on the phone. Okay. And then you can save the file and give it a name. Press okay. And now it's generating the animated file, the facial animation. Okay. Once it's done generating the file, then over here on the interface, you see where it says, uh, uh, transfer stream that is the button that you need to click to transfer the animation onto the timeline so the transfer has been completed click ok all right and now let me actually show the timeline over here so we can see as it's filling in the let me scale it up a little bit and let me turn off the selection for that go click on animate so this is our timeline right now and let me bring this back up here over here uh selected all right the character is make sure the character is selected make sure uh, leon is selected uh, whichever character do you have selected and then now that we're ready to transfer the stream which we've already recorded uh click transfer stream and then you want to click uh import the data okay so if you recorded the audio, you can check this so that the audio is also included and just uh, include the audio just in case and then select the path, give it a name, we'll say test and then import data. Make sure, okay, it's running. And so this is the process where it transfers the data from the phone onto the timeline and it will show you how many frames it has captured here on the interface. I uh, just give it a, a second, no, not second, maybe a few minutes. All right. So depending on how many frames were recorded, it might take a little bit of time or long. So that was 415 frames. So they are ready, right? So these frames are ready for us to transfer. So we can close this window right here. And the frames have been uh, transferred. So now we can apply smoothing. In all parameters okay and we make sure you click on this button to distribute to the uh, the full body so that it's not just the the head right and I'm gonna let me see if I can pull this down a little bit more so we can see and then when you're ready we're gonna make sure you're on the first frame right and go ahead and write to does timeline click one time And it will tell you that it's writing the, the captured frames onto the timeline. And I think, I mean, this is supposed to be, uh, all right. So it has transferred, click OK. And we can now close this window and rewind. And actually go back to this main timeline right here. And now if I rewind all the way to the beginning and play back, you see how much smoother that is? Okay, cool. And so the audio is actually, if the if you recorded audio, it will also, it will show up as well. Okay, so that's the cool thing. So guys, I wanted to share with you this uh, update, the plugin, and you see how the, uh, the mesh is looking a little bit less detailed than before, but if you go back and go to high resolution, and you also crank up the subdivision to maybe like two. So the animation is there. Now playback, of course, it will automatically click, uh, resort to playing it in low resolution. But it shows you that the animation has been captured correctly. So this is a worthwhile investment, guys. And thank you so much to uh, Kenneth and the team that put together this uh, plugin for us as indie filmmakers. I think it's going to help us tell our stories uh, convincingly 
and uh it, <laughs> i know the meta humans are out there like the elephant in the room but for da studio i think we have this option that uh even with all the library that you've been accumulating over time uh, i think it's uh you have an opportunity for you to animate them and bring them to life and tell your short uh story or you know series or whatever and so thanks again guys uh, i hope uh, this was helpful do please spend minutes as always to uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell kindly share the videos uh, i welcome comments and feedback and consider kindly consider becoming a patron again we are talking about uh, face motion 3d being available uh, for ordering and uh, you can find it on the facemotion3d.com thank you so much guys uh, see you next time with another insight and stay safe dare to dream big don't give up on your dream guys much love and uh, peace out